Hey, hi. Welcome to Eigen Tech. Today we'll learn how to make a robotic manipulator or we can say a robotic arm. In the screen, you can see a working robotic arm which is controlled by 5 potentiometer. In this arm, I used 5 servo motors for body motion, Arduino Mega as a controller and aluminum seat for body design. You can see all motion like wrist motion, elbow motion, shoulder pan, shoulder tilt in the screen. Now go to servo types used in manipulator. On the top section you see the gripper part, mini servo motor torque required 3 to 3.5 kg cm, wrist motion, servo equal to 7 kg cm torque required, elbow motion 10 kg cm servo required, shoulder tilt motion 20 kg cm torque of servo required, shoulder pan motion you need 7 kg cm torque of standard servo motor for this design. Ok now let's move to assembly part. For making robotic arm you need following components aluminum plate, 5 servo motors, Arduino Mega, Mica seat, 5 potentiometer. You can check assembly in my previous video which is SolidX 3D model design. Here are some pictures of assembly. Okay, now let's move to Arduino program. Ports are connected to control servo motors. So these are connected to analog port and servos are connected with P11 ports 5, 6, 9, 10, 11. In the coding you can see in the starting has include servo.h. This includes servo library. The variables used here current, target, P1, difference to control the servo motors and getting value from potentiometer. I create here some server objects S1, S2, S3, S4, S5 to connect the servo motors with Arduino. After that, in the setup, S1.attach. This function attaches the servo motor with Arduino. And in the wide loop, motor1 function. This function is created for getting a smooth motion of servo motors. You can check the code. If any problem, you can ask me. Ok, now let's move to circuit diagram. I design here circuit on breadboard. You can see it on the screen. First of all, the breadboard. After that, Arduino Mega. Potentiometer. Servos. And the main thing is IC 7805. We supply 5 voltage so you have to use 5 705 IC for giving proper supply to all servo motors don't connect it to Arduino Mega Ok, in this screen you can see some calculation methods which I used to calculate the torque required of the servo motor. Link 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Link 4, 5, creeper part, 3, 4, wrist elbow, 2, 3, shoulder elbow, 1, 2, shoulder to shoulder, and tilt motion. Assuming link load as point load, I calculate the torque. You can check these calculations.
Okay, now check the working part. The gaper part is moving. The second is wrist motion. Wow, oh, fine. Third one is shoulder joint, pen motion. Been great and fourth one is elbow motion fine okay now combine all motion of the joint of robotic manipulator you can see working here work with this robotic manipulator here is the task one hold a circular disc and move it from one location to other location watch this video and see how it's work Thank you guys for watching this video, please subscribe our channel for more videos and updates.